build your own Batmobile Tumblr. Part 72. Not a lot to do. And we've already done this on the other side. So we're working now on the right window and its frame. And all these instructions basically to pop it in. Pop it in the slot. And then once completed, we'll look like that. And then we'll be working on the right panel. So let's have a look at the parts we get with this magazine. Number 72 box. So we've got the, the plastic glass insert. And the metal frame. So what we'll do is we'll get on with the build and then we'll talk about the mods that I've done. So let's crack on with the build. Okay, so... <laughs> Not a lot to do. We've got this metal part. Flip it over. And we get this corresponding black plastic or smoked plastic. And it just fits on to the parts there. So while we're at it, I will get some, we've got this uh, leather craft cement, pop some of there, not too much, not too little, and cotton bud or a Q-tip to our American friends, and then we'll just find the the parts to glue in. This will dry clear, so it's not a problem. It just gives us a little extra level of security for a Better bond. Okay. So, while that's curing, we'll talk about the mods. So, I've been looking at reference pictures. Um, and, well, yeah. So, on the reference pictures... All of these little parts, these little diamond shapes, they are all shiny compared to the actual ailerons. So I've painted all those in and I used uh, a fine pointed brush, a rigger brush I believe they're called. So it looks like that. So I just went in took my time and just slowly filled it in and the paint I used I mean you can use any gloss paint but I I, I did use this oh, the label's gone but yeah it dries very very quickly so you've got to be a little bit on your toes so all of those have been glossed filled in as you can see And that's more accurate to what I've seen on all of the photos, the studio um, scale and also the full size. We've also gone ahead and we'll move this one out of the way. This one was a bit of a waste of time, but 
I've repainted all the canisters. Um, yeah, so I masked them all off, and I'll show you pictures of that. Then I've uh, spray painted them with some Ford metallic spray paint, and then I've clear coated. And the clear coat I used was a high coat. Yeah, I believe that's how you pronounce it. High coat. And it was a clear lacquer finish to those. So that was the other one. That took quite a while to do because I had to take it apart to get these canisters off. So that's the second one. Just bear with me for the third one. And the third one was to fill in some more details and a little bit of weathering on the central console. And I've masked out the, the side panels, greyed them out with just some grey primer, basically. So that looks like that. The interior looks like that. So I think it's just slightly better. I mean, only slightly, but it was just something <laughs> something to do to while away the hours while I was waiting for the next delivery. So, yeah, there you go. What I'll do now is just put them all on turntable individually and you can have a look at them. And I'll play some music for you. How's that? So I hope you enjoyed that one. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one. Mm -hmm.